Hi gang, this is uh, I'm recording this on April 7th, 2024, and I want to give you a little update about what is going on in the Orlando short-term rental market, uh, a little bit about where it's been, suggestions for your short-term rental, and specifically how things look coming forward. Uh, this is actual data, um, sources remain nameless, but it is very, very accurate data. So let me go through the, the, the stats first. So first of all, the up Q1 of 2024 was up 9% over last year. Now, the prior year was like a 40 to 50% contraction in the market, just an, an absolutely terrible year last year. Um, so we had a really good Q1. Now Q2 in April specifically is looking like it's pushing down April has been a banner month in the past. This April is very, very soft. May is looking a little bit better, like 10% better over last year, but May is like the bottom of the bottom. So May is never a great month, but this is going looks, looking like a better month. June last year was very soft. It's looking stronger this year. Uh, currently July is looking down a little bit, but that's way far out of the booking window. So I, I don't even want to... I don't, I don't even want to show you that. Now, I've got some really great stats about what we're doing for you specifically um, that was given to us uh, relative to the market. In short, we are beating uh, the market. It, it, it kind of depends, but our occupancy, the, our ADR across all of Orlando is 10 to 15% higher than our competitors. Um, our review scores, our overall rating scores, everything continues to climb and look great for us. But I don't want to sit here and say we're so great. What I want to talk about is what we can do better moving forward. And across the board, what we're seeing is that 25 to 50% of the market right now is looking for short length of stays. Specifically what they're searching on are weekend stays. So if you do not have a two-day minimum set, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Not necessarily because we want two-day stays. But if you do not have two-day stays because people are searching for weekends, they just click the weekend button, and then what pops up? Most of you just want to stay for three or four nights, but they still click the, the weekend button. Now, a weekend can be a Wednesday and a Thursday. But I highly, highly, highly recommend that you open up two-day stays. And what we are doing um, is we're treating a two-day when we're pricing it like a three-day. So you're actually getting credit for three days, but only renting it for two. Uh, largely, this is going to be done on Airbnb where you guys have a lot of coverage and protection from your home in case it does turn into a weekend party. Those are still very, very rare. It does happen. Um, obviously, we want to be sensitive. That is a lot of work for us as well to deal with parties when they come. Um, but I'm highly, highly, highly recommending everybody right now take advantage of that. Again, not just for the bookings, but because of the visibility that comes with the way people are searching now. They're changing their habits with how they're searching on the OTAs. Uh, for us specifically, that's 90% of our homeowners. Um, and again, like I'm just in the background looking at the stats here. Like we're up anywhere from from 4% to 11% across the board month over month with our income coming in per property. In other words, rev par, basically the amount of revenue that can come in per um, like the amount of revenue that could come in per head that sleeps on a bed. I guess that's any way I can, the best way to say it. A couple other thoughts here that we had. Um, I'm going to spend some time looking at the lead photo, the contrasting photo in everybody's profile. Um, that's one way to stand out. What we found is when we look at Orlando altogether, almost everybody has a big blue picture of a pool. We're trying to get away from big blue photos and do other things, screen, collages. Sometimes the OTAs don't allow collages. It kind of depends if they see it or not, but Everybody should have a collage as a leading photo. Again, if you don't, it's because Airbnb or VRBO saw it and they deleted it. Technically, they don't want collages. We do. Um, so we'll look at the contrasting photo. We talked about the length of stay to two nights, but again, it's two nights, but it's actually three nights. Um, we're going to spend some time looking at the top five photos. Our franchise likes it as a walkthrough. Personally, I don't. I think that you should have the photos that separates it from its competitors at the top and then you can do walkthrough. So if you just want a walkthrough in your home, let me know. Otherwise, we're gonna start to you know, really shuffle these up where it highlights the best photos. Um, one other thing, a lot of last minute bookings are coming in. So I 
We have historically not done this because it makes it chaos in our cleaners. But again, because 25 to 50, 25 to 40% of the market now is looking like for at least their initial search, like the day of check-in as a weekend, like the day of check-in is tomorrow for a weekend, but that's not actually what they're looking for, but they're clicking that button. We want to increase the search impressions. So any way we can get the search impressions up, allowing last minute bookings, we're now going to allow that for us. We'll take care of the details, the cleaners, et cetera. Um, and again, everybody, unless you have communicated to me expressively that you don't want a two-night stay, um, but those of you who have, I can ask you, please, like, reevaluate the strategy because it's not just about the bookings coming in for two nights, it's about the visibility. Uh, a couple other things that are going on. Uh, we're, we're still working on being as creative as possible with your listings, so we've always done that, but that was something that was stressed also that separates us as property managers from us, other property managers that are out there. Um, <clears throat> here's some things that we've heard. This April, first of all, the, uh, the Passover Traveler isn't coming to Orlando this year. So that's part of why April is so, so incredibly soft. Um, we relied almost 50% on the bookings, I would say, for the Passover guest. They're just not coming to Orlando. And that is not just us that's noticed that, but every property manager in Orlando has has that same experience. Um, we're at an all-time high in consumer debt. So what does that mean? Like a lot of credit card, people carry a lot of credit cards, they're looking for value, they're looking for low cost, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a, a low quality traveler, but it does mean like the race to the bottom and filling up occupancy is what allows to drive ADR. So if you're getting frustrated with the rates coming in, believe me, you're not alone. As you know, we've got no minimums. Everything for us is based on percentage of collection. So we want to get that as higher as possible, just as much as you do, believe me. Um, but because of the consumer debt being so high, the interest rates so high, uh, the return of international travel, Cruising was an issue. It looks like cruising has slowed down a little bit, which is driving some of the demand back to Orlando right now. But so think this, the cruise industry, the people are coming for the cruises out of Cape Canaveral. Uh, they're flying into Orlando. They're going to the parks for a day or two, and then they're hopping on their cruise. A lot of that's happening. So we definitely want to uh, take advantage of that consumer. Uh, there are incredibly, there's board games in your unit. We're starting to I, I, I kind of poo-pooed this before, shame on me, but now like we're seeing just pictures of board games are a big driving factor. And also uh, very, very inexpensive. If you Google, uh, if you go to Amazon and search for best choice products, they've got a 13-in-1 combo video game with a basketball hoop and foosball. There's a 10-in-1 combo. These are like under $200. And um, it's got like air hockey and foosball. And it's small, and you can put it in almost every room. So I highly, highly recommend if you consider adding this product. It helps you stand out. So board games and these like combo, um, whatever this is, highly, highly, highly recommend this. Any questions, get back to me. But again, I, I'm really advocating for increased visibility, which leads to more stays. Hit me up with any questions. Always here to help. Appreciate you guys.